Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Trouble in Manila. I was almost arrested by U.S. Embassy police for filming the embassy. I had no clue, man. I have to admit I was wrong. But you'll hear more about it at the end of the video. Take care. This building over here, that's the end of the U.S. Embassy. I'm going to show you how far it goes. If you've never been to Manila, you're going to have to come by and see this thing on Rojas Boulevard. It makes me proud to be an American. I'm going to show you. If you're in Manila and you need a new passport, repatriation loan, sign up for your social security. It's all there, man. It's, it's long. This thing is blocks long. I had to take my son here to get his CRBA. We stayed right in the same building we're staying in now, right across the street. The Grand Riviera Suites. In 2019, hell it was $23. Hell, it's almost double now. As a matter of fact, it is double. But yeah, there's a U.S. Embassy over there. It's a monstrosity. You just keep going, it keeps going. Now, you can't cross the street right there. There's a, what do you call that? A crossover or something? What's that called? know that where you cross over to get to the other side of the street she doesn't know what it's called but yeah it keeps going it's still there it's just a big majestic fortress and if everything's correct once you're on that property here honey you got the money you got it you're on U.S. property. Now, the VA clinic is somewhere over there, too. I don't want anything, honey. I'm going to go all the way to the end of here. No, I don't want anything. We'll get something. This is Rojas Boulevard. Now, when I first came to Manila, it's kind of went down a little bit. It's in the Ermita area. But it reminded me of the United States see all these big buildings and stuff but yeah that's the US Embassy right here I mean it just keeps going I believe this is the main building here American Citizen Services because when you go through that gate There's a gate over here, and I'm gonna see if I can show you. Merlin's in the pharmacy, because I wanna show y'all this. This is important for people who've never been to Manila, who may have to come to Manila, to the embassy. showing the embassy yeah that's that main building there that's where everything took place I'm almost sure somewhere in this area come through see you'll see the gate but I'm going all the way down I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go all the way to the end because it wouldn't I wouldn't do you any justice that's a holiday today I don't know what the holiday is but remember I told you this looks like when I first came to Manila and you're walking down this Rojas Boulevard, man, it, it was impressive. It still is, really. But I want to show you something. And then also Manila Bay's on right next to this. 
we're eventually gonna go to that Dolomite Beach. But yeah, there's some, there's a crossover that you take to get to that other side of the street. And you see where these two tent, tents are. The guard will meet you right there. You get in line because it's by appointment only. But yeah, this is an unbelievable place that you have to see when you come here. If, if you don't have an appointment, just come to see it. Let's see who this is. This is Fernando Poe Jr. Another great leader of the Philippines. But yeah, that's where it begins over there. Because you see the cross, the crosswalk is here. You take the crosswalk over and you come right through here. Walk down and you go through, that's the main entrance there. The main entrance is here. We're going to Dolomite Beach right next. Next time you hear from me, I'm gonna be at the Dolomite Beach. But yeah, man, that's that US Embassy, man. It's unbelievable. It keeps going all the way down there. It's impressive. Hey everybody, yeah, I'm back. We're headed over to the Dolomite Beach. You can see the white beach there. And just got stopped by embassy guards. I don't know what I was thinking, man. You can't film the U.S. Embassy. They stopped me. Okay. And took took a look at my video and they saw that it was harmless. So they let me keep it. But it never occurred to me, man. And I want I want to apologize to the government because I could be anybody. I could be a terrorist mapping out the embassy. But it never occurred to me. I got to the end, went and, and uh, met Maryland, and next thing you know, we got two embassy police flagging us down. And yeah, they wasn't playing. They said, hey, you can't take video of this place. No, they said, hey, we noticed you taking video of the U.S. Embassy. You realize you're not supposed to do that. They were real nice, though. And I said, no, I said, it never even occurred to me that I couldn't do that. And they said, well, let's take a look at your video. And it was just the video that you saw. And they let us go, man. But yeah, if you down here, man, be careful just to let you know. I don't even know where they were. Remember, I'm way across the street. I don't even know how they saw me. That's the exit right here. Well, it was white sand before. And that's the beige. But it's not really sand, right? What is this? Dolomite? That's why they call it Dolomite Beach. Where well, there's the... 500 for 30 minutes. No one person. Okay. Uh, Balik. Now, I'm going to tell you something about this. That... Uh, after uh, we gotta eat, it's a scam connected to that, guys. You see how he said 500 for 30 minutes, but what he's gonna do because it happened to me, he's gonna take you down by the intramurals, show you all the old manila and everything like that. Then when you get back, it's gonna be 1500. I was so mad, I'm gonna tell you, I was so angry. Yeah, so be careful if you hire that carriage for you and your girlfriend or whatever. Just be careful. Yeah, they they shipped all this dolomite in and it was a big controversy. I think they did it during the lockdown, as a matter of fact. A lot of people are angry, but now it's become a tourist spot. Now, today, it's not that many people. Yesterday, we were in the Mall of Asia, and oh my God, so many people. There's probably more people in that mall that was in all of San Carlos City. But this is a good place to come and get to take some nice pictures, relax. Yeah, we were here before, but. Yeah, but last year, this is 
yeah, just, we were here just one year ago, and man, it's a difference because it looks like the sand is not so deep anymore. Well, it's not really sand. It's like a dolomite. It's like a rocks. Real fine, crushed rocks. But they really like it here. People really love this place. You come here on Sunday, you can't get in here. Let's just show y'all a little bit around Manila. Looks like they got a tour guide right here. Nice little coastline here. It's called the Bay Walk. They're trying to fix it up. Revitalize it. Because when I came here in 2010, man, you walk along this Bay Walk and it's almost like you were in America, man. I mean, it was really impressive. It's went down some, like I said. That damn, them damn lockdowns, man. They really took a toll on the Philippines. But thank y'all so much for stopping by today. I want to make a video, show y'all Manila. This is Ermita area. Right by the U.S. Embassy. We're staying right across the street. I mean, I could, if I was strong enough, I could throw a rock and hit it. But I learned a lesson today. Can't film that U.S. Embassy, boy. They're going to be on you. They're watching you walking past this place. In America, it's already late. I hope you help somebody before you get into bed tonight. In the Philippines, it's early. I guess it's about 10 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and upload this when I get to back to the condo. My day goes by, I don't help somebody. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see y'all next time. I'm going to give y'all some video of Manila while I'm here. A few videos because we'll be on the ferry in the morning. Take care.